Congressman Ron Paul is set to take over the House subcommittee that oversees the Fed. Uh, so will the man who has called for the end of the Fed, he's actually wrote a book called End the Fed, uh, be able to rein in Ben Bernanke? Marvin Goodfriend is a professor of economics at Carnegie Mellon University and also the former director of research at the Richmond Federal Reserve. Professor, uh, good to have you. As, along with me as well is economic editor Mike McKee, who, of course, has been following uh, all this about quantitative easing and the outlook uh, for the central bank. But, Professor, let me take this with you first. I mean, some have said, look, mm -hmm. this is dangerous. Ron Paul overseeing the Fed. This is like putting a fox in charge of a hen house. I mean, he's going to eat them up. Uh, what is your uh, take on this? I, I'm not. I'm, I have the opposite take. I think it's absolutely critical that the Fed is... is um, overseen by the Congress in a genuine and effective way so that the Fed understands the limits that it can, it can pursue in monetary and credit policy and the Congress understands those limits and the Fed can be held accountable after the fact for either a dereliction of duty or for expanding its powers beyond the congressional intentions. So I'm looking forward for strong, effective, genuine oversight of the Federal Reserve and I think the Federal Reserve would be in favor of that as well. And, and what shape would that take? Well, the, the priority for the Fed has to be uh, stabilizing inflation or against deflation because that's absolutely necessary for this recovery from the Great Recession to proceed. And the only agency in the government that can stabilize prices as we go forward is the central bank through its monetary policy. Mm -hmm. And the Fed has to be given that priority by the Congress in order to do its job effectively. Mike? At this point, uh, the American people seem to be siding with Professor Goodfriend because the uh, latest Bloomberg poll shows only about a third of them think the Fed should be left unfettered and independent. 37 percent, not 39 percent, think the Fed needs a lot stronger oversight. And 16 percent, about double what we saw in October, think the Fed should be abolished altogether. So uh, the chairman is not working with a lot of credibility with the American people at this point. No, I mean, there's basically 16 percent of the pop of the people that we polled essentially are Ron, are Ron Paul. I mean, they they exactly agree with him. Um, so so, Professor, then given that and all that pressure that Bernanke is under, um, what should be the what? exactly is the mandate? I mean, I know you talked about that, but what exactly should be the mandate of the Fed from here on out? Well, as I say, the, the, any mandate uh, from, of, the, of a central bank, like the Federal Reserve, has to start with a priority for stabilizing the purchasing power of money, or what we call inflation. The Fed's pri uh, so price primary stability. job is, create, is price stability to create money and stabilize its value in, in terms of goods purchases. So that ought to be the priority. Now, having said that, the Fed, as everybody has seen in the last few years, has gotten into something else which, which I call credit policy, which is lending to all kinds of uh, uh, depositories beyond um, what it ordinarily does. And I think the Fed should be circumscribed, it should be limited more explicitly than it has been in its powers to but, lend expansively throughout the economy. But what about the mandate to expand employment? Well, I mean, the best way to expand employment is to stabilize the inflation rate against uh, a bunch of uh, uh, ills that can befall an economy. Now, we saw last week or earlier this week a rising interest rates in the United States. Those interest rates are rising in part, I believe, because the public is nervous that the Fed will not stabilize inflation and so right. markets are demanding inflation premia. Unless the Fed acts quickly to stop that loss of credibility, the, right. the recovery will falter. Uh, Mike, I mean, would you agree, actually, that the Fed has kind of gone into the fiscal authority side of things versus monetary policy? Well, they've gotten way outside of their normal scope of activities. Ben Bernanke calls it because of uh, the, the, the emergency. They did it under the uh, emergency exigent uh, provisions of right. the Federal Reserve Act, and that is what the professor's talking about, getting out of. Getting, right, getting out of that then. Um, uh, professor, thank you so much. We're going to leave it there. Professor Marvin, good friend from Carnegie Mellon, of course. Uh, thanks to Mike for uh, stopping by.